around 58 kilograms. Uh, that's about 127 pounds. Now for someone of my height and stature, I'm four foot 11, so I'm not even five foot. I felt this was on the heavier side. Final taste test. It was so, so, so delicious. This recipe is definitely worth giving a go. I went through a very long period of heavy detoxification. So in a matter of a couple of years, I lost overall about 20 kilograms. Everyone around me, my friends and my family were very, very worried. They were looking at me and they thought that it was a sign that my body was starving and that I wasn't healthy. Um, I still deal with certain symptoms and these symptoms have recently started to increase to the point where I'm struggling to keep up with my normal day-to-day -day activities. But I do have an idea of what's going on with me. I've got direction, I've got a detox protocol that I'm going to be diving into very soon. Um, and I'm not going to go into the specifics of my health issues at the moment. Your body is always sending you signs and signals trying to communicate with you about certain things. And I know that my body is telling me that it wants to rest and heal and regenerate. This will probably be like a gateway for the haters or people who don't agree with my lifestyle or the way that I eat to possibly have a go at me and assume that it's because of the way that I eat that is causing these symptoms. I know I've said that I don't know my underlying cause exactly, but from what I do know, I know 100% that it's not my diet that is causing these issues. People that are black, listen, if you are of, of ethnic descent, Hispanic, black, whatever, you know what I mean? Not Asian, Asian, uh, but like, if you like black or um, Hispanic, you definitely, definitely, definitely should be vegan. I'm gonna show y'all my body really quick. So you can see what my canvas is. Oh, wait, one second. I wish I had a stool for y'all, but here's shoulders. Oh, I know, I'm gonna back up a little bit for y'all. See? But believe me, YouTube, it looks a lot more muscular for two reasons. One, I already worked out today. I did it this morning. Um, two, it's just lighting. I, trust me, it's a lot more slim than it looks. Foods that are not suited to our physiology, it is really causing a strain on your system, causing a whole strain on your system, which will eventually break down, and you'll come down with a chronic disease. Gradually transitioning from... Uh, a meat-based, starch-based, cooked food type of diet into a higher vibrational type of diet which is mainly based around fruits, especially tropical fruits, you'll live a long and healthy life. Leave the animals the fuck alone! Vegan! V-E-G-A-N! It's five fucking letters! Go fucking vegan! Leave the animals the fuck alone! Leave the animals the fuck alone! They're tired of getting raped, tortured, and murdered! Yeah! I'm saying aloud so the whole fucking world can hear me! Leave the animals the fuck alone! Leave the animals the fuck alone! You know what the animals would say to you if they could speak? Don't fucking kill me! Where'd my tooth go? Did I just fucking break my tooth? Where's my fucking tooth? I simply cannot understand why people are still eating scrambled eggs. Every hour, you know, um, you know, it's 11 o'clock, it's midnight, it's one o'clock, it's two o'clock, why can't I fall asleep? Why is everyone else asleep except for me? And for me, I just feel like this jealousy, like everyone else has this way that they can just fall asleep and for me, I, I don't, I can't get that, I can't access that for some reason and it's so frustrating. If everything around you in nature contains information and a vibrational frequency and if we're able to receive that then we can raise our consciousness. I, I just know in my heart that I've got to keep my body as clean as possible. Blink, blink in it in. I 
I'll say it again on this one. Really clears up the eyes. In the ears as well. Straight away my skin's looking good. First detox symptoms. I've had so, so much skin peeling off. Here you go, there's nothing. It's urine. It's a bad taste, but I know. I hope it's going to be good for me. The amount of mucus that I'm expelling through my eyes is beyond belief. Like every morning I'll wake up and my eyes are pure crystallised. And then halfway through the day I'll have to wipe the mucus out. And obviously if you've been watching my videos previously then you know that I've got a lot of mucus up in my head. You know, you can see in my eyes that the mucus is heavy in my brain. Lit Look, this is going to shock you. A lot of people, a lot of your family members, a lot of people that you're talking to, you're not talking to them. You're talking to these entities. These entities have hijacked the body, hijacked the nervous system, and is living through them and controlling them. If you can eat chicken, you can eat a human. It's the same thing. If you can eat beef, you can eat human. It's the same thing. It's cannibalism. It's sick. It's twisted. What gave you the idea? culture who's running this culture the parasites they run shit when you start to say i got to have well i gotta have me some meat i got to have my liquor that ain't even you talk that ain't even a person you got to be able to hear them talking see me i got my third eye open and i can hear them i can feel them i can see them i know them and they see me they're afraid of me they love alcohol they love sugar they love bread they love all the things but they hate they absolutely hate fruit <laughs> I figure that out. I've looked people directly in their eyes and talked directly to the parasite. I talk directly to the parasite. Um, it's very important that we understand this, and I want to say this clearly because I don't think people truly understand what's going on here. And um, that's okay, because I'm here to teach you. I am the most high. I want to let you know that right now. I don't know if you, if, if anybody out there has, a, has that mixed up, I want you to know that I am the most high. I am the most highest consciousness you can come to within this plane. To you, I am God. I am your Jesus. Period. There is no greater teacher than I. I just want to let you guys know that. The frequency that I'm on right now is the highest frequency of this realm, period. We think that sexual intercourse is for procreation when it's not. You have to be vibrating at an acidic level for you to get pregnant. It is a, almost a miracle for you to get pregnant. You have to go against the laws of nature to get pregnant. It's a fact. That's a fact. The body rejects sperm as soon as it enters it because it's a foreign entity to the body. You have to be vibrating at a low frequency to get pregnant. That's why when you become vegan or fruitarian, the sperm cell rate goes down. The body becomes more alkaline, so the immune system gets more stronger, making it harder for you to get pregnant. I love, I love myself, man. Myself. You feel me? I'm having some pretty bad health problems. After I went vegan, I've basically had chronic diarrhea for the last few years um, and lots of other like weird stomach things. And I also have a autoimmune skin condition called psoriasis. It's been getting steadily worse and I've been getting like new areas like on my hands and just other parts of my body. Just my general level of anxiety and depression uh, has been higher and I've just been feeling steadily less and less energetic over time. Bleeding and periods and cramping and just really uncomfortable cramping. Just ran a regular blood panel thing on me. I showed up being severely anemic. And it says your convenient plant-based alternatives 100% vegan, 100% to taste, eh? Tasty, tasty, tasty. Taste it exactly like fish. Why would you need to kill an animal to enjoy something like this when you can get amazing vegan versions with no victim involved? Why are people so stupid? 
this I do not know. Like, and that's what's wrong with the world. There's too many people that's out of touch with reality. I'm doing good except for this piece of fucking shit. Why don't you fucking make me? Call the cops. He has no cops on us, man, because of that. Let's stand their way, see what they do. And I told him, I'm like, bitch, he's came to my house. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Photo bomb. I'm just kidding. Oh, he's dead. He's dead now. I'm like, 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 I'm
He knows you're sad. It breaks his heart.